Let's talk about some pinch harmonics. If practicing different guitar skills was like making a D&D &D character, then I think pretty clearly the guys writing the caveman riffs would be barbarians because they just kind of smash in and cause destruction without putting much thought into it, and it's pretty awesome. I think guys who shred are a little bit more like rogues. Their damage is more precise and thought out, and they're they're slippery, and they're really good at what they do. They could get critical hits. I, I don't know, this analogy is kind of falling apart. And I think those who practice pinch harmonics are closer to sorcerers because on the one hand, when done properly, pinch harmonics can sound like Doctor Strange opening up a portal to the mirror realm and everything's so mystical and fantastic. It's just like an alien noise and it takes you out of your skin for a second. And on the other hand, when done poorly, it can sound closer to like when Ron Weasley accidentally filled his own stomach up with slugs. I thought about making this video last week and I intended to go through and find examples of what I think bad pinch harmonics are, but to be honest, I don't listen to bad music. So if you guys got examples of bad pinch harmonics, please like leave them in the comments. Or don't. I'm not your dad. The most recent example of a bad pinch harmonic I've encountered is in the song Doom Switch by Make Them Suffer. Now I know what you're thinking. Noah, didn't you just do a cover of that song? You must love every aspect of that song. It's so good. <laughs> and it is a good song. The song slaps. But the pinch harmonic in the middle of that song, it just comes off as like anemic. You see what I mean? Great riff, bad pinch harmonic. It's not weird enough. It's not like a wacky enough pinch harmonic. I like my pinch harmonics wacky. Pinch harmonics can liven up any riff. They can really add a really cool texture, but just like a rich, delicious German chocolate cake, there is absolutely too much of a good thing. But where's the line? Because while I find riffs like Ant Hill by Kubla Khan really badass, Behold the Crown by After the Burial, it sounds like a joke to me. That's a corny riff. It is so corny to me. I don't like it at all. <laughs> I hate that song actually. Which is weird because I love pinch harmonics and I love After the Burial. So, uh, por que no los dos? Why not both at the same time? It should be great. It's not. They overdid it. That's a meme. They gave me too many slices of that delicious German chocolate cake and I ate them all because I'll eat them all. I will eat every one of them. And now I'm feeling a little queasy and I'm not feeling so good. And oh my God, I might be a little bit sick. I don't like this song. I'm not going to listen to it anymore. So that said, here are my five favorite pinch harmonics that I've ever heard recorded uh, that I could think of at the time of making this video. I probably missed a few because there's a lot of them out there and a lot of them are really freaking good. I'm doing a Tyler Rousseau bit now. Sorry, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs>